What's going on everybody and welcome back to Comic Breakdown. In this video, we're jumping into something brand new. Under the Marvel banner, this is Predator, issue number one. With writer Ed Bryson, the artist is Kev Walker, and the colorist is Frank Darmada. I'm sure by now a lot of you have already watched Prey, which is also Predator 5. If you haven't, it is on Hulu and it is pretty freaking awesome. There's definitely some plot armor in there, but when it comes to Predator movies, it's definitely in my top three. But when I was watching that movie, with it throwing us way back into the past, in the early 1700s, I was really wanting something in the future, something that takes place out in space. And we get to understand the species of Predator just a little bit more. And that is the great thing about comics. Because we get to expand on that and that is exactly what this comic is doing. Taking us to the year 2056. Human beings are capable of interstellar travel. And though they have many advancements in technology, they are still very vulnerable prey. Now, make sure you guys have subscribed to the channel, you have liked this video, and with that being said, let's dive into this breakdown. Alright gang, so as we dive into this issue, we are picking up on planet XI-4432-8. The year is 2056. And right now, we have the battle of two predators. With explosions, with slashes, with blood being spilt. These two warriors, they are giving each other a run for their money. But at the end of the day, there can only be one standing. As one of the predators are gutted, we see it pull off its mask. As it screeches at the other predator, we see the one standing take its weapon and behead the predator. The victorious removing the mask only to reveal that this is no predator. This is a human being and she is the Predator Hunter. That's what takes us to Demora, the year 2041, getting the origin story of Theta. On this planet, they don't really understand everything there is to know about it. They are scientists here exploring. She is the daughter of these scientists. Being very bored on the ship, listening to the AI constantly go on with lessons and so on and so forth, she wants to be out there exploring, to be able to find out what these worlds have to offer. Her parents finding her out here, they tell her that she needs to get back to the ship, to get back to safety. And while she puts up a little bit of an argument, this is when her father, Hugo, he hears something in the bushes telling them to get back to safety, to get back to the others. With three lasers appearing on his chest, we see Hugo shot down in an instant. Her father murdered right before her eyes. This is the day that she first learned about predators. Picking back up in present day, Theta is communicating with her AI computer. We learn that she is hunting a predator with only three mandibles. This one had four, which means this is not the monster that she has been looking for. And so heading over to the predator ship, she grabs whatever supplies, whatever gear, and whatever technology that she can bring with her. She has been hunting predators for 15 years, learning everything she can about them. She wants to be the living nightmare that they dream about in their sleep. She wants to replace all the fear that she felt on that day so many years ago. Most of all, she wants vengeance. Running into the local populace, not being able to communicate, trying to let them know that she is friendly and that monster is no longer a threat. This just so happened to be one of the planets that the predators hunt on. The problem is, she is wearing the armor of her enemy. Seeing the helmet, the language barrier being obviously too great. The only thing that they have seen is that mask slaughtering everybody that they love. So it goes without question, when they started to open fire on her, she really couldn't blame them. This is when she makes a mad dash for her ship, throwing us back into the past the day her father had been murdered. As they get over to the ship, she is trying to let everybody know that they need to get on board and seal 
blow everything up, that they are currently under attack. But before anybody can truly do anything, people start getting taken out left and right. The Predator is already on top of them. Theta and her mother are running over to the ship, trying to get her inside and seal it up, telling her to stay inside and wait for her to come back for her. Telling her that once everything has gone quiet, program the computer's AI autopilot to bring her back to Earth. With tears running down her face, her mother leaves to face off against the Predator. Jumping us back up into the future at present day, we have her getting into her ship and she takes off sitting outside in orbit. She thinks to herself that when she was younger, she believed the Predator to be an anomaly, some sort of freak of nature. But after 15 years of hunting through space, she has learned that the universe, it produces endless numbers of horrors, killing more than a dozen Predators with her own hands. She vows that she will not give up until she finds the one that ruined her life that took everything she loved away from her. Now, one of the devices that she had grabbed off the Predator ship, a red egg-shaped device, these things she had discovered along her fourth kill. Going onto the Predator ship, she found that these things are really like, kind of like a holy text. Not really able to decipher a lot of it. She is able to get travel logs, where the ships have been, and where they are going. She has their hunting routes. The first time she had hooked one of these things up, she learned that it signaled other predators. And that is what led to her fifth and sixth kill. Now, knowing the tricks, she can hook this thing up without any kind of real concern. And she also is able to get all the information off of it. Using this new information, she cross-references with everything that she already has online. She has learned that when one of these guys are killed, another one picks up their routes within a year, working on the same 10-year cycle. And what she learns is that this hunting route, it has been modified. Having all of this information, they can anticipate when a planet is going to be attacked, which means she can be there waiting for them, surprise attacking them. And even though she would love to get out there and kick some more predator butt, the truth is, her ship, it is in rough shape. It is in need of immediate repair, or this thing could very likely fall out of the sky. The nearest port is Port Medway. This is the port that is going to have all the parts they require. The only problem is, Port Medway is a Star Industries outpost. This ship belongs to them. She is a fugitive. Not only that, they had been at this port not six months ago. The last time she was there for parts, she had to shoot her way out. Very unlikely that they have forgotten about her. But the AI, Sandy, lets her know that there is no other option. Everything is running low, and these repairs, they need to happen now. And so Sandy sets a course taking us back to the day that her father had been murdered. We see her mother in the hands of Predator. As he lifts her up off the ground, we see young Theta in the corner crying, begging for her mother to be let go. As the Predator takes off its mask, trying to be intimidating, the mother cuts off one of the mandibles. The mother being thrown down to the ground, severely injured. Theta picks up the machete, and she faces off with her first predator. Holding that machete in her hand, she thinks about using it. In present day, her ship is going down, not being able to make it all the way to the port. Calculations being off, the autopilot shutting down, the AI system turning itself off. She is all by herself. As she goes in for the emergency landing, seeing glimpses of her childhood, the Predator did not kill her. Saw that she was frightened and that she would do nothing. The mother almost dead already. The Predator walked away. She throws down the machete and runs over to her mother's side with her last words saying I love you. This is the day that everything was taken. As she comes to consciousness, her ship has crash landed, but she is safe. She is alive, and now she has a long haul to Port Medway. And that 
will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I am 100% on board with this. Though I do think a predator probably would have killed her when she was young as a child. Obviously, they gave her a little bit of plot armor. But it's also the whole reason that she has been out here hunting predators. Becoming an expert at being the predator. Trying to hunt down the one that took everything from her. This story having the potential to really expand so much on the predator lore an opportunity to really dive into the worlds that they have explored the worlds that they hunt on it really is shaping up so far to be an awesome series this issue number one definitely knocked it out of the park and it has me hooked and now that we have her origin story out of the way, I'm really excited to see what comes next for her. So let me know your thoughts, let me know your theories. If you would like to support the channel, you can always do so by hitting the super thanks button. This button will let you donate directly to the channel and every little bit helps us out. Now if you can't do that, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit that notification bell, and with that being said, until the next breakdown.